friends, it's me, Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. With Easter right around the corner, I thought we could play with our bunny friends and do some really fun bunny activities, play bunny games, and hop around like bunnies together. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on, hop, 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 hop. all the colors together. All right, do you know this color? Green. Should we open it? Okay, let's say open together. Open. And what's this? A little yellow bunny. Hi, this is little bunny. Hop, 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 hop. Wow. All right, let's see what other colors we've got. Do you know this color? That's right, pink. Let's open it. What? Another bunny. That's two bunnies. One, two, two bunnies. Should we open another one? Let's do it, okay. How about this yellow one? Right, ready to open it? Okay, now you say open and then I'll open it, ready? Open. Let's see what's inside. What? Another bunny. One, two, three. We have three bunnies. Whoa. In the first egg, I had a bunny. In the second egg, I had another bunny. In the third egg, I had a third bunny. Let's open our fourth egg. Let's do this blue one. You ready to open it? Ready? We'll squeeze it and open. What? In the fourth blue egg was a fourth bunny. I can't believe it. Now we have 
four bunnies. Hey, friends, hello, hello. Hop, 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 hop. Oh my gosh, bunnies, look at you. We have one last egg to open, this purple one, and it'll be our fifth egg, because we did one, two, three, four, five. So it'll be our fifth egg open. What? A blue bunny. Hey, blue bunny. What's going on with all these bunnies? Can you even believe it? Hop, 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 hop. Hi, friends. Hi, little bunnies. Wow, we opened five eggs and got out five little bunnies. Let's clean up and close the eggs. Close. Whoa, Easter bunny. What a surprise seeing all these five little bunnies in your Easter eggs. I have five bunnies. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. And what about their pretty colors? Should we name the colors? Do you know this color? Blue. This is a pink bunny. A little green bunny. A white little bunny and a little yellow bunny. Hi, little bunnies. We have five little bunnies. Five little bunnies sitting on the floor. One hopped away and then there were four. Four little bunnies as sweet as can be. One hopped away and then there were three. Three little bunnies I once knew. One hopped away, and then there were two. Two little bunnies having fun in the sun. One hopped away, and then there was one. One little bunny, oh, what fun. He hopped away, and then there were none. No more little bunnies, how silly. Hop, 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 little bunnies. Hey, little bunnies, what's going on? We were thinking we can plant some carrots together. Okay, bunnies, do you want to help these bunnies plant some carrots? Let's do it. Here's a fun activity you can do at home, and all you need is an egg carton where eggs used to be, and you can flip it over and poke holes in it and even paint it like a green garden. You can make little carrots and let's plant them together. Are you bunnies ready? Yay! All right, bunnies, I'm also very excited. All right, let's plant them and count them. Ready? One carrot in, two carrots in, three carrots in, four carrots in, five carrots in six carrots in and we're halfway done let's keep planting our carrots all right so we had six seven eight carrots in nine carrots in ten carrots in eleven carrots in 12 carrots in. 12 makes a dozen. We often hear it when we talk about eggs. A dozen of eggs usually comes in a carton like this. A dozen means 12. But now instead of eggs, we have carrots. So we have a dozen of carrots. Wow, we can't wait for them to grow so we can eat them up. Yum, 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 yum. Yay, bunnies. Thank you for helping me. And thank you for playing with me. Hop, 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 hop. Darling bunny. Thank you, thank you. I was just gonna ask for some help planting my carrots. You're such a great farmer helper. You are planting the carrots? We will in the sp spring. Yeah? Mm. You like the garden? Yeah. What do you like to plant? Usually we like to plant usually everything we like. 
Really? Yeah. Like uh, vegetables and fruit? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of fruits and vegetables do you like to eat? All oh, right. Really? Look how many carrots you got in there. Baby Bunny wants an extra one. Baby Bunny, this is one you can eat. Oh, this is an extra one. Thank but you. Let's, I help Darden. Oh, look at that. Hop, 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 hop. Whoa, another bunny. Hi, bunny. Hi, friends. I'm feeling a little hungry. Do you have any carrots? We do have some carrots. Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven carrots. And Bunny, look, you're holding one. So seven plus one more would be eight. We have eight carrots over here. And this is a fun activity you can do at home. All you need is a box. You can draw on a bunny and cut out a hole for the mouth and then help feed the bunny. Let's feed them together. Yum, 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 yum. That was delicious. May I have another, please? Sure, Bunny, here's another carrot. Yum, 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 yum. Bunny, would you like more to eat? More to eat? Yes, says Bunny. All right, here's another carrot. Here's more to eat. Yum, 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 yum. Bunny, would you like more to eat? More to eat? Yes, says Bunny. Yum, 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 yum. Here is more. Bunny, would you like more to eat? Or do you feel full and are you all done? Mm, I would like more to eat, please. More to eat. Okay, here you go, Bunny. <gasps> yum, 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 yum. May I please have another one? Sure, Bunny. Here you go. Yum, 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 yum. Bunny, how are you feeling? I would like one more, please. All right, Bunny would like one more carrot. One more carrot. Okay, Bunny, you ready? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, wow, says Bunny. I feel full in my belly. I'm all done. Bunny's all done. All done. Great job, Bunny. Thank you for feeding me. You're very welcome. Hey, I feel hungry. Do you have any carrots? Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe yum. he made your party. He might need a party. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is he eating his carrots? I bet so. Why? Well, he probably feels full and said, whoa, I need, I need to go party. And then he'll try to finish his belly. That's right. Bunny, we have three more food for you. Oh, thank you. And so even have one in your pot. Whoa. So, let me know when you need your potty, Bunny. I feel full. I, I think I gotta go potty. Poop, 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 poop. Good job pooping, Bunny. I'm ready for more carrots. Yum, 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 yum. Chew, 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 yum, yum. Crunch, 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 crunch. Thank you for feeding me. You're such a great friend. <laughs> boop, 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 boop it out now. Good job, Bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, look, here's a fun little craft you can make at home and make a bunny craft. And all you need is a picture of you, stamp your little footsies in some paint, and cut out a bunny cutout where you're gonna glue on some cotton to make this really fun bunny craft. Let's do it together. Come on. Hop, hop, hop. 
pop? I'm, I'm bringing glue on my nail. Really? That's gonna be cool. I'm bringing on little bunny paws. That's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna make it kind of soft and gloomy. Oh my goodness, what do you even think about that? What? What a cute bunny you made. That's enough fun bunny. Now let's do our next one. Oh, you got it. Hop, hop, hop. Oh wow, look at these bunnies. They really like to hop. Oh, did you see that? Let's do it again. Bunny, are you ready? It's going backwards. Are you ready? Let's do it one more time. Oh, that went up so high. Wow, you can make this bunny craft at home and all you need are some cups, rubber bands. And then if you'd like, you can glue on some googly eyes or you can just try them on with the marker. Let's see, what do bunnies have? Eyes. Two, two cute eyes. A cute little nose. A mouth. Some whiskers. Look at this bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Can I hop with you? Yeah, are you ready? We'll attach these rubber bands on the bottom and that's what's gonna make him kind of jumpy like that. And then as we press it onto this other cup as a platform, he's gonna push off. Did you see that? Oh, you think we can do two bunnies at the same time? Let's try it. Okay, you gotta move your hand kind of quick. So it doesn't get in the way. Okay, we'll let him go on three. You want to count with me? Ready? One, two, three. Wow! Now let's make this craft together. Let's make this hopping bunny together. All you need are two cups. One, we're gonna set up as a cute little bunny face. Let's see, I cut out some ears. One and two. I'll bend their bottoms. So we can use that area to stick them on as ears. Let's add some eyes. I'll peel the back. A little cotton tail on the back. Boop. Cute bunny out. Next, you want to make four cuts at the bottom. One, two, three, and four. And you want to use two rubber bands and tie the sides of it. And then we'll go on each side of these slits. For Oops, one through here, and one on the opposite end. Making this bottom really stretchy. Now we'll do the same thing. And now we'll stretch it from this side to this side. Now when we set it on, we push it down, push it down. Ready? Let's go. Like go on three. One, two, three. Whoa! Uh, I put the. You need a tap to do the eyes. Yours is a dragon mouth. Some rubber bands for to hop. And that everything we need. Whoa! And then how does it hop? It goes. Whoa, it hops up high. Yeah, let me see that one. That one did a flippity flop. Here's another really fun bunny craft you can make at home and make your own bunny toy. And all you need are socks, some rice, and then some string to tie it all up. We had so much fun doing this craft. We made so many bunnies. 
and they're so fun to hold and press and squeeze and play along with and you can design them however you want so let's make some together come on You're doing two double scoops. Why? Because you got two scoops. Let's sit down on the bunny and shed how hot the bunny is. And then we soup it Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, They're wait. tall. That's a tall bunny also. We're going to tie it. I'm going to tie it to kind of keep it closed. I'm going to close it up this way. Does that move? Let me do some holes for the whiskers. Huh? Huh? Hello. Hello, there, bunny. Hello, hello. And I'm also going to draw another one. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh, look, look like our little Easter Bunny craft friends left us some Easter eggs in this rice and you know what we could do we could make a really fun little shaker together all right all you need is some rice and an easter egg let's pour a little in close it and we made a little shaker shake 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 let's do another one oh how about this pink one See, we'll get some rice, scoop it up, pour it in, close our egg, another shaker. Shake it high, shake it low, shake it over here, shake it over there. How about, okay, let's do one more because this is super fun. Oh, come back, come back, Ego. I lost half my egg and then I found it. It just popped out of my hands. Pop the doodle dandy. Pour some rice in the blue egg. Close it up, let's shake it around. And you made your own little shaker. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your Easter egg. Shake your Easter egg. Whoa! And then I scoop some rice. A great shaker. Whoa, look at all these bunny friends we made today. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten bunnies. One little, two little, three little bunnies. Four little, five little, six little bunnies. Seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies. Ten little bunnies hopping around. Should we hop like bunnies together? Let's hop around. One little, two little, three little bunnies. Four little, five little, six little bunnies. Seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies. Ten little bunnies flopping their ears. Should we flop our ears together? Flop, 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 flop. Flop, 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 flop. Good flopping. All right, let's see what else do bunnies like to do. We did some hopping, we flopped our ears. What about shaking their tails? Okay. Oh, one little, two little, three little bunnies. Four little, five little, six little bunnies. Seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies. 
like to shake their tails around. Shake, 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 shake your tail. Shake, 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 shake. Great job, little bunny. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, look, two more bunnies showed up. Hi, friends. Do you want to play with our slide? Sure, here we go. Let's put this pink ball in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It went around and around and around. All right, how about this green one? Let's put it in. Whoa, look at it go. How about you guys? We'll put our bunnies in and then go down the slide. Wow! Wow! Great job, bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. You can make a slide similar to this at home. Look at this with some paper plates. And you can put them together into a little spiral so the bunny will go down and down and down and down. Let's try to make it together. Come on. Here's another fun bunny activity you can do at home. If you get a little poster holder like this, where it has the signs in it, you can take this out and make your own little whiteboard. Okay, here we go, because we can do hard things. Then you can get a printout of a bunny or letters or anything else that you like to draw. And if you put it in, you can then use dry erase markers to color on it or trace it. Little face, ears. Or you can just color, like color the paws. And then if you put in just a plain white piece of paper, then you'll have your own little whiteboard. Or you can also use it to trace and learn numbers or letters. How about, oh, okay, so we're talking about bunnies. Bunnies start in the letter B, B, B. So let's draw a letter B. First, I'll draw it on this piece of paper. All right, there's a uppercase, a capital. That's the big letter B, and it looks like this. It's a line down, then it goes around and around. It's a big capital letter B, and then for lowercase b, it's the line and a little belly at the bottom. Let's put it in so we can trace it again together. Here we go, we did it. Let's use a different marker to trace our letter B, B, B. So we'll do the capital one, the big letter B again. Down and around and around. Yeah, perfect! For the little lo lowercase letter B, sometimes it might look like letter D. But one way to remember it is if you draw the big part here, it would kind of look like the big letter B. Or you can also remember it if this was a little friend with a face, he would have a b b belly. B b belly. And for D, lowercase d is actually this way. And this friend would have a d, d diaper. Another fun way to remember the lowercase letters B and D is if you're looking at your hands and you put your thumbs up, this would be the lowercase B for belly. And this is the lowercase D for diaper. And they go in order if this was A, B, C, D. And so you can remember that the B goes this way and the D goes that way. Here's another fun activity you can do at home that's great for hopping and jumping and you can also use it to learn letters or how to read or numbers or colors. But this activity 
so you can grab post-it notes and a marker and then write letters by these stones. So let's first do the letter hop because bunnies love to hop. So we'll put an H here. Oh, here. And then a P here. And as you hop, you can say the sound that that letter makes. So the letter H makes the H sound. So it would be H. Then letter O, O. And then letter P makes the P sound. P. And then you can do it to, faster, do it together. Ah. Let's do another word. How about, uh, let's see, let's see. Well, we've been talking about bunnies and they're cute with little whiskers. So what if we do the word cat? So it would be C. Mommy, you want to use you know Tell me, tell me, tell me. Pee you should also spell that for that little bunny named Pee and that little one in bed time, baby. Oh, of course. That's a good idea. You know what else? I can spell out bunny and you can hop it and sound it out. Yeah. yeah? Let's see if the bunny's going to hop. C makes the letter K. So he'd say K. A makes the letter A sound. And then T makes the T. You want to hop it out? I'll never imagine my oysters. Sure. K at. Let's do it again. K at cat. Okay, let's add two more stones. And I got a good one. It didn't, it didn't be like a song. And Bunny, what is his name? B A B U. This way to the song B U N N Y and then B U N N Y B B U N N Y with two double N and in the middle. Really? And also, you know what else? But then do it backwards. So, Y N N U B. That's how you spell bunny backwards. Did you like the spelling? Yeah. <gasps> what would you like to do? Would you like to do more spelling or hopping around like bunny? Hopping. Five little bunnies sitting on the floor. One hopped away and then there were four. Four little bunnies as cute as can be. One hopped away and then there were three. And there's yellow, blue, white, green, pink. Wow, and you think all those bunnies like to hop? Yeah. I think so too. Now what's the next one? Oh, three little bunnies that I once knew. One hopped away and then there were two. Two little bunnies play in the sun. One hopped away and then there was one. One little bunny, oh what fun. He hopped away and then there were none. Here's another fun activity you can do at home to practice tying shoelaces or threading or just tying. And you can either do a cutout of a shoe and thread it with some shoelaces, or you can just use a paper plate. And when you're learning to tie shoelaces, I find it easier if you use two different colors. So you can see which one is going over the other and how to tie it. So I thought we could do it together and we'll do one this way and one with the two. So we can start learning how to tie our shoes together. Come on. All right, and then this is our shoe. 
There's so many different ways to tie a shoe, so I'll teach you one of them. But you can do it any way that you find easier. But if you hold two of the strings in your hands, this is in my left hand and this is in my right hand. So this is my left string and this is my right string. There's a fun rhyme you can do left over right. So you place the string over the right one, you punch it through the loop and then pull tight. And then some people like to call these bunny ears where you you put the strings together into little bunny ears. Hop, 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 hop. You can do the same thing with the left bunny ear and right bunny ear. Left over right, punch it through, pull tight. And you know what? Tying shoes takes a lot of practice and there's a lot of different ways to do it. So if you don't get it right right away, it's no worries. Let's try it with these two different ones and I'll place the blue one in my left hand and the yellow in my right. So we'll do left over right, punch it through and pull tight and that's how you tie a knot. And then you can still create your bunny ears but now we have a yellow one and a blue one. So we'll do, now it's left over right Punch it through and then pull the whole thing tight. It's a fun way to practice it at home. You can also start out once this is tied and your grown up can help you with it, just grabbing the two bunny ears and just practicing that over and over again or just tying the first knot. Thank you so much for playing with me and learning with me. I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hop, 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 hop.